TPC. Happy to see everybody on this beautiful Thursday morning. There might be some noise. I had to stop recording twice because they are doing some, some cleanup work and it needed it. Uh, behind my back fence, it is a disaster back there. I don't know who owns the property. But they just dumped junk everywhere. And I don't know what they're doing, if it's cleanup or what they're doing. It was so noisy, I had to stop recording. You can still kind of hear it. Um, got back to Illinois last night. Um, started checking out some YouTube. Our beloved Uncle Willie put out a wellness update. It's great to see him. Great to see him back with us. Just check out his channel. Check out his video. It's a longer video. He's giving you the rundown of what they figured out. They thought they think they figured out what his breathing issues were, and I think they have a good, good plan ahead. He he does have a road ahead of him, but I think he's on his way. Hopefully, praying for him. Um. Place another order for uh, smoking pipes. It arrived Monday. This is the new blend. I've never had. We'll talk about it a little bit. So, Peterson of Dublin University Flake. Uh, <laughs> Scandinavian Tobacco Group. Their uh, tin descriptions are pretty funny sometimes um, the style of tobacco is allowing the experienced smoker to rub out the flake to the texture preferred the blend is mixed with mahogany brown and orange Virginia sun cured leaf from India and is slowly pressed for days into cakes of tobacco then sliced into flake pieces strength 4 aromatic taste 3 room note 4 there's burly in this, by the way, but it's it takes the back seat for sure. Um, this is good stuff. It's good though. The usual presentation. Um. Beautiful flakes, though. <clears throat> and yeah, you get a lot of Virginia. You don't, with the, the tin note, if you didn't know Burley was in it, you wouldn't probably pick it up, but it is in it. But all the little rough edges that kind of makes you enjoy Burley's are really, really subdued because of the topping and the way they cured this stuff and the type of Virginias they used, you get a very sweet citrusy hay plus the plum topping. It's it's a sweet smoke, um, but it's really good. It's a little on the wet side though. And at least in this pipe, and this is a good Virginia pipe. I mean, this is a nice big deep bowl. Um, it just isn't staying lit that well. And I smoked it. I definitely would not smoke this in any of my like Savinelli 320s. I'd be lighting it constantly. Um, but this is a. Uh, I you probably should let it dry which I may even do that next time. Just give it a little bit of dry time. You don't need a lot. It's nothing like uh, Best Brown Number 2 or Molta Dolce or any of that stuff like that. But when you rub it out, it does like to stick together. So that tells you right there, there's some moisture there. 
tells me that there's uh, quite a bit of uh, topping added to it too. But overall, yeah, I give it a three out of four. It's a good blend. I think it was Shellax that re recommended it. He knows my palate pretty well by now, I think. Um, he also told me to try Peterson's Irish Flake, which I will do next time. I haven't even researched that one yet, but I will. It is absolutely perfect out here this morning. There's a nice breeze. It's probably mid-70s. Um, got a few things to get done today. I'm going to get my hair cut and my beard trimmed up. Uh, we have to go pick up. i I got to figure out how to go pick up our camper. Um, I was getting a few things done to it. Uh, we're camping this weekend, so we need to get it back today or tomorrow. I prefer today because I like to go get out there early on Friday. Not early, early, but early afternoon, get it set up so the wife don't have to deal with it. This is the time of year you camp. Right now. Um, now until maybe like early November, very early November. We usually store it, put it in storage second week of November. But yeah, so that's the weekend. It's gonna be, I wouldn't say busy, just a nice chill weekend. Uh, I head back to, I head back to work in Falconer, New York. So it's like mid western New York. I think it's close to Lake Erie. Actually, they said it was close, not too far from Niagara Falls. So it's kind of in the Buffalo area, but not really. It's like two hours from Buffalo, I think. I haven't actually looked at it on the map or anything, but I will be there for months and months. So I will be flying, no more driving. Um, so yeah, I'll be racking up miles. Back to booking flights every week. Um, so it is, uh, I get to work with a different lead. Kind of had a good work trip this last trip with my previous lead. We uh, it was very productive. Uh, damn this stuff! Stop to talk for two minutes and it's out. It's like for a minute even. That's the only bad thing about it. Could have got a 3.5, not for that. But. Anyway. Got our Trump sign up in the yard. We had to. We were being surrounded by Kamala. Kamala supporters, you know. It's pretty funny. Uh, she was vice president for the past three years. N absolutely nothing was done for the country in the last three years. Nothing good. Uh, everything got more expensive. You know, mass mass invasion of our southern border. But I tell you, the media has got people brainwashed to hate Trump so much they'll they'll literally vote for anybody, anybody. It doesn't matter. That's all it is. Um, people aren't voting on her record. They can't. She has. She don't have one. Um, the very person that used to brag about taking away your guns, confiscating guns, getting rid of guns, is now bragging that she owns a gun. And these people are like, oh. Just going crazy over her. It's like insane. So 
I didn't used to put out signs, but this year there's one in my yard. I don't know if people realize it, but we already hit the iceberg and we are sinking. And to bring back the very same people that got us in this position is insane. It's a definition of insanity. It's what it is. Political rant over. <laughs> Had some had some nut thatches out here on the trees this morning. They're, I don't see them often, but I love it when they're here. I don't know if you've ever seen nut thatches. They are a beautiful bird. They're reminiscent of woodpeckers. They like to eat bugs from trees, hop around on the tree. Um, just beautiful to look at. They're like a blue, gray color. Very entertaining to watch. Probably one of my favorite bird species, actually, when it comes to small birds, domestic birds. Yeah, today won't really be a busy day by any stretch, unless I make it to go get the, the camper, which I'm trying to make that not part of my day, but it might have to be. This is like take number three, so I think my pipe is about about gone. We'll see how the day goes. I may put out another video today. Um, didn't put out as many as I wanted to this last trip. Uh, weather kind of got shitty toward the end of the trip, so it was raining. Um, my hotel situation for this next trip is kind of up in the air. I talked to my future lead and where he's been staying for a year. He has a deal and it's a, a clarion point. It don't look bad. The reviews aren't horrible, but they're not great, but He did divulge to me that they have an entire the north wing of the hotel is strictly for Section 8 government funded housing. So you have people that live there. I'm just not sure if I want to put up with deal with that. So I may just go somewhere else this trip and try to set up a deal there. Um, there's a double tree by Hilton that has a fairly decent rate. I may stay there. It's only a couple miles from him, so he can deal with picking me up every day. <laughs> so yeah, I'd say this is definitely worth getting and trying and keeping in your rotation, actually. Um, just thought I'd hop on. Welcome Uncle Willie back to the YTPC. It was great to see him. Um, little life update for me. Talk about this good tobacco. And uh, just welcome all comments. Welcome to see all my sub subscribers back. If you haven't subscribed and you like the channel, go ahead and subscribe. I'm going to do a, my next video, I'm probably going to talk about YouTube and just all the bullshit that goes on with YouTube and being a presenter. Um, it needs a whole video, but there are definitely, this is just going out to all the, my subs or people who come in here. Even if you aren't a sub and you frequently watch the channel, if I don't always comment, it's because I did not see the comments in my comment section. A lot of times people comment and it goes to YouTube Studio. And I don't check into YouTube Studio at all, hardly at all unless I find out that people were commenting there. 
Um, I don't know why YouTube is what they're doing or why it's like that. But it's probably cost me quite a few subs because people think I'm ignoring them, but I'm not. So we're going to address that. Um, but that's for another video. I uh, just want to thank everybody for stopping by, checking in. Till next time, keep them lit.